Kaze. There you should enjoy. What's up, Vanguard people? I'm doing another uh, card fight commentary for you guys. This week is Pachikaze with Brachios versus Great Daisha, as I mentioned. Um, we're doing our redraw here, and I believe I'm starting it off in this match. So the nice thing about the Brachio series with Tachikaze, for those who haven't experimented with them yet, is that uh, it allows you to refresh your field or get extra attacks off, so you can potentially attack four times a turn. Or with Dark Rex, it allows you to twin drive twice while maintaining your field presence. The Daisha, for those of you who also don't know, is a card based on... A cross rider is 13, 15 on the attack if you have limit break, and 3 dimensional robo. So he's a 2 crit all the time with limit break. So I guess I'll get this started. So I don't get my grade 1 for the ride chain, which this is a ride chain deck. So I ride the perfect guard and pull back my 4k. He gets the 6k, counterblast 1, gets plus 4,000, no counterblast. But he gets the yelly crit, it hurts. And it's a good start for him. To play this game. I ride into my grade 2, which is nice. Makes my grade 3 11k. I play down some boosters in the grade 2 Brachio. Vanguard. And I swing with the Vanguard first since it's over a 5k shield barrier for my rear guard. I get the return crit on him, which is nice for me. I throw the power on the rear guard and attack his Vanguard, hoping to get a card out, which I do. So he plays the grade 2, Dimensional Robo, another proc for his uh, ride chain, or it's not necessarily ride chain, but Daisha. But he doesn't have any other cards to play. So 10k to block for me to get one. He gets the one anyway, so good thing I didn't guard. That's so my turn again. I ride to the Raptor Colonel, so I have an 11k Vanguard with 4k boost. Play the grade 3, Brachio, and swing 9 to 9. Five K block. Easy block. Swing at the rear guards this time because if he gets the defensive trigger, I'll lose those attacks. And then I swing. So if he perfect guards, great for me, but I get away with a second crit in this case. So that's four damage for two attacks, so I'm Crit him on each of my drive checks, which puts him at a pretty big disadvantage. So he rides the first Dayusha and no field again. So. Uh, I get to kill two of my units to give their power to him. Plus, the clarification on the Raptor Colonel is uh, his limit break is limit break four, counterblast one. When he attacks, you can kill two of your units to give their power to him. So if they happen to be the Brachio units, I get to counterblast one for each Brachio unit to search. And the way the Brachio units work is if they die when they're on their rear guard circle, counterblast one, search your deck for the grade. So if the two dies, you get the grade three. If the three dies, you get the grade one. And the grade one dies, you get the grade two. So it's a circle. It allows you to thin your deck at the same time that you maintain your field presence. And I just bound Dark Rex, so if I my Vanguard's attack does not hit, I get to kill three of my units to uh, ride to ride my to ride the Vanguard to perform a second drive check for that turn. So I choose to kill my 4K booster because I don't like it there, which is an interesting choice by myself. But uh. He throws the perfect guard down to. So right now my Dark Rex effect is about to go off. Since he blocked it. I got nothing. Which he probably should have done in this case was not use the Raptor Skills ability and just leave the units on the field. That way I could have had my rear guard for triggers on. But this way, I just pull out two boosters instead. Because I killed two grade threes, I counterblast one for each of them to search for a grade one for each of them. 
Which is a nice combo because it allows you to get boosted attacks off with your uh, re-ridden Vanguard attack here. So for against his 10k Vanguard, he'll probably throw down 15k shield to, to guarantee not getting hit. Or not guarantee, but try and avoid getting hit since he's already at 4 damage. So he does throw down 15k. And I get nothing. Which is fine. But it's his turn. He cross rides. So now he's got the 13k body. With Limit Break, it's, it's a 15k body. If he's got three dimensional robos. So he goes 20. 20 and 2 crits. So that's pretty painful. That's actually uh, a. Yeah, that's 2. So he doesn't hit, lucky for me. He still has no field to go aggressive with. So I re-ride Raptor Colonel to get my 11k uh, Vanguard body back. No counter blast open, so I got the hand size from doing the double twin drive last time, which puts me in a good position. Got to think about setting columns up now because I'm dealing with a cross ride deck, so I need to set the 18k column. And just have a throwaway column to pull one card out of his hand with my uh, 14. So that's a 5k shield. So one card out of the hand. 16. 16. So a 10k shield will make it two to pass. Which is nice for him. I get a, a clutch heal trigger. And my van my rear guard is now only one damage. So if this was a crit, I could have pulled more cards from his hand. But in all likeliness, it's, it makes more sense to just take the damage if you want to try and conserve your hand for uh, later pushes. So let's see if he draws into a, a field, which he desperately needs at this point, because he's only getting the one attack off of turn, so my hand just keeps getting larger and larger. The field support really isn't there, but it'll at least cause one extra card. So that's actually a no pass for this one. It's an 11k body. He's got the 12k and my rear guard, which is a troublemaker for him. So I think about intercepting. I got through with the intercept. Throw down a 10k. So Vanguard, since he's gonna block this attack either way, so I can throw my uh, triggers wherever I want. No triggers. The big uh oh for me is I realize there's like only 5k shields in my hand. Pull out another card from his hand, hopefully. Another 10k shield. Yep. That's his turn now. Oh, this is actually trouble. So he counterblasts one when he plays that card to get plus 4,000 to a dimensional robo. So that makes his uh, Vanguard a 24. It's a pretty big attack coming at me. That's a 24. No I gotta take the chance here. That's two crits coming at me. A crit to win. Perfect. And a grade one. He doesn't get it. I luck out. But the Laurel's there. So uh, he swings at a 17 now. See where he goes. Surprisingly, it's at the rear guard. I probably would have gone at the vanguard because that's 17. So that would have been a 10k for one to pass. So I would have tried to maximize the cards I got out of my. Uh, my hand at this point, but that was his move. I think it was probably a misplay that might ultimately cost him because if he could have gotten any of those 5k shields out of my hand, I would have been hurt and bad, or I probably, probably would not have been able to guard it. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> So it really doesn't matter where I put the dark rex that I just drew, but uh, I'm going to give something an 18k column potential 
So it doesn't matter where I put it, but so that's an 18 rear guard. And I go 17 at Vanguard. Another Dark Rex potential here. With, against the Crossrides, let's make it a little difficult for them. Since it's so easy for the attack to not hit. So, I was looking for my Brachios, and I realized I've gone through all of them. So, even though I'm trying to sack the Grade 3 here, I don't have a Grade 1 to boost my Dark Rex again. Which is unfortunate, but it'll still give me the two attacks. The two twin drives and the four cards in my hand. Are we good? First. So I get the heal trigger. So the nice thing, again, emphasizing, I get to put lots of triggers on my rear guard column that I'm going to leave on the field. So I could potentially get four triggers on that one rear guard, making them pretty big. So now he's just 10 to 13. So I'm hoping he throws in a card for this. He does, and he's got one card left in his hand. So, right now, it's been, my field is such that he can't guard this attack no matter what, even if it's a 10k shield. And he doesn't get anything. That's game. can't do the No, you can't. And now for the breakdown of triggers. In this game, there wasn't actually a lot of triggers going around, so we'll start with Zach here for playing Tachikaze. He got uh, two offensive crits, one defensive, and two heals, which the second heal didn't matter as much, but it was still, still a heal. The first one, however, was clutch enough for him to take the two crit Dayusha to the face. For Sean, we have one offensive crit that he got in the beginning, and three defensive, along with three offensive draws. Going back to the crits, those were probably the tone setter for this game. If I had, if Zek, the Tachikaze, didn't get the two crits he got in the beginning, and the three draws that, the uh, three offensive draws that Sean had, probably would have shut down Tachikaze altogether with having all those 5k draw cards and his cross ride just would have made it too easy for him to guard. So that's it for the trigger breakdown. Thanks for watching.